JW Solar USA live from Minnesota Command Center. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. So the batteries already sorted out. So I have 17 modules here. You look at it. So it's 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 here that um, they are properly balanced, which has a 3.2. Okay, let's let, let, let me see. Let me let me do this. Or oh, I mentioned earlier that um, the gold is the like the positive, for, for like a lot of application. The gold is positive, and this uh, bronze or silver, or sorry, this silver or this bronze here, it's gonna be the uh, the positive. But it's a reverse. This is the um, negative right here, and the positive, the silver is a positive. So any of the modules. I'm pushing out here, they're reading at the 3.293, and the second battery is a 3.293, and all in this box, they're reading 3.293. So all these 17s are reading the 3.293. This one's here, which is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 of these modules here, they're reading at their own voltage, which is... Um, uh, let's go here. I'm going to show you. The 3.290. And 3.290. So they're all reading at the 3.290. This 12 here. And these three are the weakest link on the batch right here. Okay, so let's put this one. They have two, uh, three of them has two, uh, three different voltages here. And uh, hold on, I'll get back here. 3.06 instead of 3.293, so uh, 0.2 something millivolt off. And 3.298, 3.282, okay, I think I read this one wrong, 3.0, that's what I meant, 3.0, this is the one of those uh, weakest batteries or voltage here, the 3.06 and 3.08 and 3. 280. So that's why I have them, the three sitting here at the corner, and I have the 12 here that are reading the 3.90. Um, so something like that. Let's prove that again. 3.290. Yes, these are all the 3.290, and these are the 3.293, I suppose. Let's go with that and see. 3.293. So what I'm going to do is good for you to check the voltages of all the batteries before you utilize them. So I decided to go through the process here and which uh, makes more sense and makes it safer because it doesn't mean they're not going to balance themselves. But when you deplete almost the batteries, when you go almost to the bottom, and you're always going to be facing discrepancy on the voltages. So, um, bottom balance and top balance. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to top balance these batteries here and put them together. So, this one here, this is the lowest one, is going to suck power from this one here, the 2.290. And it's going to bring these guys up, these three modules to maybe this one's going to be sitting at the 3.289 approximately or 88 or 90 i don't know i can't give you any prediction now i don't want to be wrong on my um analysis here so just we're going to put them all in parallel so they're going to be reading at the 3.2 um, volt 
25 amp hours. If they reach the 3.293 here, then they all balance. So what I'm gonna do, even that, I, I, I wanna try and get them all into um, balancing mode and parallel them all together. But the only thing, they don't come with the, 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 the bus bars here. The bus bar, um, um, I need the bus bar and the screws. So this project is going to be a little bit delayed. But I'm going to see how fast I can able to do that for you guys to see where everything is going. So for some people, they can end up getting a BMS with all that voltage discrepancy on the 3 point. 0 0.6 and 3.08 and the 3. Point, um, two something whatever and they 3.288 something like that so they're gonna um do um extra the bms is gonna be doing that maybe it's gonna take a month or something to get them all balanced depleting them charging them depleting and charging them and after that they're gonna cut up BMS is going to be doing plus, plus one, minus one, or subtracting from the high voltage batteries and bring them up to the lower ones that needs the most and balance them up. Some people would do that, but if I parallel them all together and they have a fresh start, and that will just help the batteries. But what I'm going to be doing, I'm putting them, I can do in fours in parallel if I wanted to. So 25 times four. So see, it gives you um, 100, see? So I can able to do 100 amp, four in fours, in fours, in fours, if I wanna do uh, my application the way I wanted it. So like I said I, I, on the first video, there are different ways of configuring these batteries. If you have a lot of them, you can stack them just like I did before on the Nissan Leaf. You can put eight in, in, in parallel, or you can do um, 12 in parallel and series and which is going to be just like the same voltage. The voltage stays the same on that battery. The amperage goes up. By doing so, it keep the, bal the batteries balanced instead of being unbalanced. So after that, if you have a BMS or you're a BMS guy, you can incorporate a BMS there. So it's going to be a good start. So the BMS not going to be on a hard work or something. It's just going to make the... The batteries, the 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 um, um the way it's gonna analyze the battery or the battery algorithm or whatever, you it goes back and forth. It's gonna just minus one, plus one point minus zero point one. So it's just a millivolt. So you're gonna keep your batteries balanced. It depends if the batteries are weaker, you can uh, change that um, option at all. But the ba the balancers can help. To keep the batteries balanced but um like i said i don't know at this point and what am i going to do or what i'm going to do but um i would like to have more of these batteries um the price is too good for the batteries and they are smaller i was thinking probably one of them is going to be just like two of this two of these is one of the batteries that's what i was thinking according to the picture but um that was wrong so I was like, oh man, that's kind of huge. But now it's just a single thing like this. So I have I have boxes that uh, battery uh, cabinets, I can incorporate these guys easily. They don't take that much space at all. So my concern is just uh, the bus bars and get the, uh, the screws. But they were recommended as a, um, as a threaded, whatever it's called, the um, lock nuts. I think that's what it's called. Things they recommended for using the lock nuts on these ones. So, yeah, the batteries are now, you see, they're all sitting flushing all the way down. There is no bulge or anything. You can see they're all solid, no bulging at all. So, these batteries are brand new. They, don't, they are not bulge. So, that's a good thing. Instead of having batteries bulging, then that means there's some problems with it. They can still work, but you have to be careful how you to balance them or charge them to the brim, then you're going to face a lot of problems. But um, you can able to rectify that kind of problem as well. But this is how I'm going to wrap up this video. And thanks for watching. And I've given you all the goodies here. Stay tuned.
because I'm going to be bringing you more from this channel. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA, live from the command center in Minnesota. Bye for now.